this video I'm going to do one example of logarithmic differentiation. Alright, this is just one approach of uh, sometimes using logarithmic differentiation it makes taking the derivative a little bit easier. Um, so specifically for this one, if we're going to use that method of logarithmic differentiation, we've got our original equation here, y equals sine of 2x raised to the 4x power. So first off, we need to take the log of both sides. So I'm going to do natural log of y is equal to natural log um, of that sine 2x raised to the 4x. All right, now you're going to want to apply log rules as much as you can to simplify the expression. So in this one, the only thing I can do there is to bring that 4x down in front of my log. So I'll have natural log of y is equal to 4x times natural log of that sine 2x. All right, at this point in time, um, you need to take the derivative of both sides. Keeping in mind over here, I've got a product going on here. I've got natural log of y. Okay, now hopefully somewhere uh, you have memorized that ddx of natural log of u is u prime over u. All right, so that's your formula for taking the derivative of the natural log function. All right, and keep in mind here that u is a function of um, x here. So u is a function of x in that formula right there. All right, so I've got the natural log of y. Okay, so I need u prime over u. So to take the derivative right here, I'll have a u prime or y prime over y, which is the u prime over u formula. This is going to be the uh, product rule. So I'm going to go ahead and on this side, I'm going to go ahead and use that ddx notation before I actually take the derivative here. So um, let's see, we'll have a 4x and then times ddx, the derivative of that natural log of sine of 2x. All right, and then plus the natural log of that sine 2x and then times the derivative, so ddx, of that 4x. All right, and just doing that so that you can clearly see that that's product rule there and how we're going to implement it. Okay, so this y prime over y is going to stay. All right, I'll have the 4x here. All right, implementing here, implementing u prime over u, all right, keeping chain rule here, we're going to have 2 cosine 2x and then all over sine of 2x plus... All right, this all stays the same, so natural log, sine of 2x. All right, and derivative there is just straight derivative, so 4. All right, now, um, next thing we need to do is ultimately solve for this y prime. So I need to mul multiply both sides by the y. When I do that, I will probably clean this up a little bit. I can take 4 times 2 there and get an 8x in the numerator here. I can pull the 4 out in front of this one. So I will do some cleaning up as we do that. So y prime is equal to, cleaning this up, 8x cosine 2x all over sine 2x plus, bringing the 4 in front, 4 natural log sine 2x. All right, and then we are multiplying both sides of the equation by the y. Okay, so times y. And then last step would be to do a substitution for the y originally the problem said y is sine of 2x raised to the 4x, so I'm going to make that substitution. So I'll have y prime is equal to 8x cosine 2x all over sine 2x plus 4 natural log sine 2x, replacing y, then times sine of 2x raised to the 4x. Okay, so final answer. All right, with no simplification or anything, just leaving it right like that. Uh, straightforward logarithmic differentiation. So key here is, um, I guess, just really realizing what the steps are. Take the log of both sides, apply log rules, take the derivative, all right, of both sides, ultimately solve for y prime, when you've got a plain y over here, make sure you substitute back in as your final step, whatever y is equal to there. So definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.